Good morning, guys. Um, I bailed on Vlogmas, and I'm sorry. And I had planned on coming back in and being like, woohoo, we're starting off the new year. Even though I don't typically do New Year's resolutions. Get back on track. My kids have been sick. Oz had croup. Uh, we only had one really scary episode with that, though, and then he was fine. So, I think it was some kind of environmental. We had played outside on Christmas Day? Or the day after Christmas Day? Well, we did both, I think. The day after Christmas Day, so the 26th, and my neighbor was burning some wood, and that was the night we had such a horrible, like, he couldn't breathe. He started, you know, that, that bar. It was awful. We had a, they, my husband took him outside. They sat outside for, like... 45 minutes. It was a very scary episode. We got a steroid the next day though. And he, you know, he cleared up really quickly. Edie started running fever that also that night. So we missed her birthday party. She had kind of a crazy birthday. And then, um, things have been, they were better for like a week and we ended up doing her party a week late and all the things. And then now she has RSV. And on top of that, with her asthma, which they have officially given the diagnosis without officially given the diagnosis, which they've been telling us for a while that they were pretty certain that that was something that she was had. So they couldn't call it that. They had to call it restrictive airways disease. And they have not written that on her paperwork anywhere. He said he didn't want to give her that official diagnosis yet in, you know. <laughs> Who is that pretty girl? Yeah, you got boo boos on your head, don't you? <laughs> Anyways, needless to say, we have had a long, very, very long couple of weeks. We've had some good moments in there. Um, I did some really awesome, feel good things to make myself feel good. Um, I've been trying to take good care of myself and make good choices, which I have not been making this week at all. I had Doritos and dirt cake this week. Uh, so I would say not my best, but I was coming in for accountability because I'm hoping to breeze through uh, the weekend and just give myself the rest of the weekend, just not to eat junk or anything, but just to get myself lined up, get some groceries in here, do a little meal prep, get fully back on track and, um, my plan is to go back to eating um, two meals a day, coffee in the mornings, do a little meal, I mean, do a little, um, oh, what's it called? Fasting, a little fasting, um, and then push it to two meals a day, and maybe end up pushing it to one meal a day. Um, we are meal prepping. We're doing healthy meals. Uh, Brie and I have been making, you know, meal, meal prep. And I like to ha make meals that we can all eat instead of just me or that I can eat some portion of. So this coming week, um, and I will try to show you the meals. I don't know if I'll do it in this video or at make a new video, add it to this video or make a new video. This coming week, you we're going to have chicken noodle soup, which in the past when I've done chicken noodle soup, I have poured out, I have made myself a bowl without the noodles. Um, like I would skip, dip myself out some before I put the noodles in. Um, that's what I do with gumbo or anything else like that. Um, we're having chicken noodle soup one night. We're having um, spaghetti one night. And I'm planning on doing, uh, I bought spaghetti squash for myself. So we're going to have spaghetti squash one night. I did not buy the cheap spaghetti sauce, um, which is, I really actually love the Rouse. It's my favorite. That's just not in our budget right now. Um, you know, money's tight. Trying to pay some bills. Trying to, you know. It's just not in budget right now. So, um, uh, those two things. What else? What else? What else? I don't have my list in here, which I should have brought with me. We are going to have um, Parmesan shrimp and scallops one night. Um, don't come at me. You want the what one? The plain one. I have the scallops already in the freezer, and my best friend is providing the shrimp. So, we're going to. Um, I heard you. Mommy's got to find it. So we're gonna go in together and make those. Sorry guys, I am looking for something for Edie. Why are you looking at me like that? Uh, there's the paint one. 
we watched a lot of TV. The first set, she was sick. We watched nothing but Blippi. I mean, Minions. I mean, like, it would start, we would finish it. Typically, we don't watch that much TV during the day. They watch it some in the evening. Edie Ruth. I'm not feeling my best mama. Let me just tell you that. Um... Anyways, so chicken noodle soup, Parmesan shrimp, and um, I already said it, but I can think. So we're gonna have some sides with that. Um, I brought, I bought salad. I got asparagus. I got um, broccoli. And I tried to be careful with how many. Oh, and I also got a can of green beans because Eddie really loves can of green beans. Oh, and also I got. Um, Corn on the cob because both of my kids well Oz doesn't really eat it anymore but he used to he used to and he, and he says he will so in the event and hopes that he might possibly attempt that I am I got some corn on the cob and I tried to be careful with as much and it was frozen as much fresh stu stuff so it wouldn't go to waste um yeah so those three meals for sure uh what else mm. Um, Italian beef one night, and I will have mine without a hoagie, most likely. Um, and then the last thing, so we usually try to do five meals. I don't even remember what the last one was. Oh, um, a White Watchers orange chicken recipe. You do have a boo-boo on your head. So, um... And you're supposed to serve that with rice, which I will probably omit and just eat the chicken. So, for myself. Um, that's what's on menu. I still have burrito bowls and Alice Springs chicken left for this week. Because we were behind from last week. I was still behind from eating last week. I feel I'm about to go fucking crazy. And I just dropped the F-bomb on y'all, but it's so true. I'm about to kill somebody. Um, anyway, so we still have Alice Springs chicken, which was also a Weight Watchers recipe. And, um burrito bowl which actually was also a Weight Watchers recipe not specifically doing Weight Watchers just trying to do low carb but uh you know when you're pinteresting those things they'll just happen to pop up and our burrito bowl was absolutely nothing amazing it was just chicken or beef with beans and corn and cheese and you could add lettuce and we're gonna do olives I mean anyways so we still have those on the menu that we haven't eaten this week um that's what's going on in our neck of the woods. I was just keeping you posted. Um, I, I try to do one, one sauce maps, steps, maps, steps. I am going to um, try to get water in, drop the diet sodas, which I have been doing really well, but I've had like three this week. Ed brought me one home the other day after he went and got um, a few things for the kids when she was sick. And then the last two days, both of my parents have brought me home a Sonic drink, which is hilarious. They typically, my dad will bring one from time to time, but they don't usually both do that back to back. My mom never does. Um, so I've had my feel of that. Yeah. That's what's going on. Coming in to say sorry about Vlogmas. Coming to say I'm getting back on track. Let's make 2020 the year where we focus on health and focus on getting ourselves back to just making good choices and being our best selves some things i would like to see happen in 2020 is regular exercise omitting sugars from a family's diet again we've kind of been down that road before it went okay but then the holidays come along kids know there's treats in the drawers at this year at halloween i gave most of our candy away um or threw it away we go to several parades throughout the year that stuff just accumulates i don't typically buy that stuff and even like gifts for Oz's classmates and friends uh, uh for like valentine's day or holidays and stuff i try to stay away from sugary treats i will lean toward pretzels or goldfish or um fruit cups or just little toys which i i love like the little toys and stuff but i get really tired of having to pick that crap up at my house so i know other moms feel that way um anyways that's what's happening, guys, for 2020. I will see you hopefully next week. That's my plan is to weigh in and see you guys next week. Bye.